Hey, Daniel, how you doing? I've got, let me see, what do we have? We've got, okay, here we are. I was wondering where your letterhead was. So you have your letterhead, and then your business cards, and your envelope on the other file. Okay, so let's start with the letterhead. Let's take a look at the letterhead. Okay, it's uh, top center. That's good configuration. Um, then top right, that's interesting. Um, I think top left is, is really interesting, too. I, I think that might be the most interesting way to present a, a letterhead. But don't forget, you have to have your contact information in here as well. So, for example, if you're going to show your uh, your logo uh, top center, you, you'd have to add your contact information. I think down here is a great place to do that, the lower. Or even up here, if you have your, uh, your logo up, on the upper left, you know, you can place your contact information here or even here. And that leaves the whole rest of the page open. So I, you definitely have to have some contact information on your um, on your letterhead. Imagine, you know, somebody gets this, they throw the envelope away, they got they have no way of getting, you know, contacting you at the letterhead. Okay, so let's jump over to the business card and the envelope. The envelope, I think, um, envelope is the least versatile of the three because, you know, we're kind of stuck putting the logo up here, I guess. And I guess we'd put the logo down here. Um, but anything like this, this is kind of really unusual because that's where the stamp typically goes. So, you know, we're kind of stuck with this. Now, again, don't forget, this is an envelope. It's imperative that you have your contact information in your envelope as well. So that's really important there. And then you have a business card. The, the business card sketches, um, I think, are really super underdeveloped because all you've done is show placement of the logo. You don't show, you're not showing where the actual text goes. So there's no way for us to tell exactly what your intent is here. So I would recommend in the future, um, in presentation stage, try to make these as complete as possible in the sketch stage. And in your, in your, in your career as a designer, when you're designing letterheads, business cards, envelopes, which is known as a stationary system spelled with an E, um, that, that is um, something that your, your creative director or your art director is going to want to see exact sketches. We want to see exactly what this looks like um, at a sketch stage as, as opposed to the way it's going to be printed. Let me show you a really excellent example from class. And this is... Um, I mean, let's take a look at Amy's work. Amy always does really, really good work. So let's take a look at her thumbnail sketches here. And you'll see what I mean about really getting these. See how the, the, the logo is placed and it, it really placed to a point where um, envelope. And the only thing that she is now, now, take a look at the business cards. And this is really what I was talking about. Um, the business cards really show intent perfectly because we can see that this is going to be the exact way this is going to look. So so we've got the, the, the logo, the placement of the logo, and then the exact placement of the type. Likewise here, exact placement of the type, likewise here. So we really have a great idea of what the business card is going to look like once it moves to the digital stage, as opposed to just placing the logo itself, which is pretty much what you have done here. You see what I'm saying? So I would have liked to have seen these really to a, a, a more detailed uh, final indication of what your digital work, business card, letterhead, envelope are going to look like. Okay, any questions, let me know. Thank you.